Good morning gardeners and DIYers everywhere. It's Sunday, February 2nd, and I have spent the past several weekends setting wood posts as part of my massive garden expansion project that I'm completing this winter for the 2020 growing season. And today I wanted to give you some tips and tricks on how to set a wood post in ground so it is both stronger and will last longer and be more resistant to rot. All of the wood posts that you see in front of you are 4 inch by 4 inch by 10 foot long posts. And they are all number 2 pressure treated lumber that is rated for ground contact. Any wood post that you set in earth absolutely has to be pressure treated and rated for ground contact. Here you can see the severe weather stamp that is on every single one of these pressure treated posts and you can clearly see the ground contact general use label printed on it. While it is absolutely mandatory that you use ground contact rated pressure treated lumber to set as posts, just because it is pressure treated and rated for ground contact doesn't mean that it will never rot. All pressure treated wood is is rot resistant. The pressure treated ground contact rating will simply slow the rot. It will not prevent the rot. So in order to slow that rot even further, there are some tips and tricks that you can employ along the way when you're setting your post to ensure less contact with water and longer life for all of your wood that is installed in the ground. The first tip that I'm going to give you today is how to increase the strength of your wood posts that you're installing in the ground. Now, when most people install wood posts in the ground, they embed them in concrete. And the main point of embedding them in concrete is to add additional strength. But the inherent problem with concrete is it needs something to grip onto to really add strength. So if you simply add a wood post in the ground and pour concrete around it, there is not good frictional forces between the concrete and the wood post itself. And what that means is because the wood post is so smooth and so uniform and straight, it doesn't have a lot of rough edges for that concrete to grab onto. So what we want to do here is we want to increase the surface area of this wood post so there is more surface area for the concrete to adhere to and grab onto and we also want to make it rougher and less uniform so there's better grip where the two frictional forces of the post and the concrete meet. So in order to do this I took simple three inch wood screws and I embedded them into the post here and what those wood screws are going to do is they are going to create irregular points with ridges and a lot of friction for the concrete to adhere to so instead of the concrete simply trying to hug around the post those screws are going to be embedded in the concrete and it is going to add a tremendous layer of strength to your post so right here you can see the wood post in front of you and this is a 10 foot long wood post and this wood post should be buried at least three feet into the ground so here you see two different marks that i made you see a straight line on your right and that is exactly at 36 inches that is the burial line of the wood post right to the left of it you see a dotted line that is at 24 inches so I have a mark both at 2 feet and 3 feet and what I want to do is I want to put the wood screws inside the 2 to 3 foot range because that will be near the top of the concrete and near the middle of the concrete so all I did was take four 3 inch long coated 10 year warranted wood screws and I drilled them into the side of the post at roughly a 30 to 45 degree angle and it's very important that you buy either a galvanized or coated wood screw that is made to last at least 10 years because it's going to be embedded in concrete and you're going to want the screw to last as long as possible and those screws protruding from the wood post is going to give that concrete something really nice to grab onto and your post is going to be so much stronger and more resistant to winds and shifting than if you were to just bury that post inside concrete alone. Now that we've discussed how to install the posts so they are stronger and sturdier when placed in the ground, let's discuss how we can install them so we can increase the resistance to rot. The number one mistake most people make when they install a wood post in the ground is they install the hole just deep enough so the bottom of the post rests on the actual soil itself. 
and this is a problem because the post is contacting directly with the soil. That soil is inherently damp, and that dampness will be in contact with the bottom of the post at all times. Furthermore, if you receive any kind of rain event, that soil may become wetter and wetter over time. This is an extreme problem if you live in a place which has clay soil, because that soil may be wet 365 days a year, and because that wet clay or the damp soil is contacting the bottom of your wood posts at all times, it is going to eat away at the base of the post, and that rot is going to slowly travel up your post and rot it at a quicker pace. So one way you can prevent that is by putting a three to six inch layer of gravel down underneath each post. So in my case, my holes have to be dug 36 inches deep at a minimum to set my post. I've been digging them 40 inches deep and below each post I put down a four inch layer of gravel. And right in front of me I have a simple 50 pound bag of quickcrete multi-purpose gravel this is just basically crushed blue stone, and they sell it at Lowe's or Home Depot for about $4 a bag. And each bag, I'm getting about two holes worth of gravel when I dig the hole that is 8 to 12 inches in diameter to set the post. And what happens is, because we are now sitting on a layer of crushed blue stone, the bottom of that post is not contacting damp soil. If you were to get a severe rain event, and the soil becomes saturated, the soil is going to drain all around the wood post and it's going to drain through the gravel. So that gravel is always going to be drier than the surrounding soil. So it will add years to the bottom of your post's life and slow down rot by putting a firm, dry base around your wood post. The third and final tip that I want to give you for installing a wood post in the ground to increase its longevity and resistance to rot is to install the wood post with a foundation reveal. And this is probably the best bit advice that I'm giving you in this video. I have watched multiple videos around YouTube about how to install a wood post in the ground and they're all the same for the most part. They all include someone excavating a hole and they're either filling the hole full of quickcrete rapid set concrete or they're hand mixing concrete and they're shoveling the concrete into the hole. And then the concrete always ends at the surface. And this is setting you up for critical failure. That concrete will over time sink into the ground. Where the concrete meets the post will be the low spot at the soil line. And every single time it rains, water is going to pool around where the concrete meets the post and the water is going to intrude in that little tiny gap where the concrete meets the wood and it's going to over time trickle down and it is going to rot that post at a very fast rate so here we have a simple eight inch quickcrete concrete tube and these come in all different sizes you can get eight inches 12 inches uh, you can get them in 24 inches in, in 36 inches and what this is is it's a tube form that you install above the soil line that you press into the top of your concrete and it allows you to overfill the concrete so the top of the concrete foundation is several inches above grade line. I recommend at least a three inch foundation reveal which means the top of this tube should protrude a minimum of three inches above the soil line. And what this does is it prevents water from ponding around the exact point where the concrete meets the wood. Because I have a three inch reveal on every foundation, what will happen every time it rains is the water is going to pool around the concrete, not at the point where the concrete meets the wood post. Using these concrete form tubes is a very simple process. You'll see every five inches I have a mark. All I do is I mark every five inches and I cut a five inch piece of this concrete form tube. After I set my post, I fill it up with concrete to the top of the soil line. I then take one of these concrete forms and I push it two inches inside of the concrete. So I have a three inch reveal protruding above the soil line and I use a level to level it laterally but I leave the back of the foundation pitched slightly higher than the front of the foundation. That way any water from rain will not pool on the top of the foundation because it will be sloped and it will run off.
Using these three simple tips and tricks, you can set a wood post that is stronger and lasts longer. Everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for future updates and more videos like these. If you're curious about anything that I use in my garden, everything that I use is in my Amazon storefront linked in the video description. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see each and every one of you on the next video.